Hello, first grade students, and welcome to another episode of First Grade Math with Professor Primary. Today, we are diving into a brand new subject. We are going to be diving into measurement. We're going to look at standard measurement and non-standard measurement. We're going to learn how to use a ruler and how to measure objects with non-standard units such as cubes, maybe even paper clips, or we could even use coins from home. But before we get into that, you know what I'm going to have you do? I need to know if you have been practicing your math back. So let's see. Are you ready? I kind of changed my numbers up today. Remember, I need you to be quicker than a snap. All right, let's see what you've got. 18 minus 8 is 10. Good job. 20 minus 10 is 10. Good. How about 10 minus 5? That will be 5. What is 10 plus 5? That's 15. 10 plus 4 is 14. I'm giving you lots of 10 plus. 10 plus 6, 16. What about 8 plus 3? That would be 11. What is 7 plus 3? That is 10. And 10 plus 9 is 19. And 10 plus 8 is 18. Boys and girls, please continue to practice your math facts. Now, I have a very important question for you. What is the tool that we use to measure? Hmm, do you know what we use to measure? If you want to find the length of something, what tool would you use? I have it on my table here, boys and girls. You would use a ruler. A ruler is a standard measurement tool. It will give you inches or we could measure in feet. Those are all standard measurement. Today, we are going to focus on using non-standard measurement units. And that could be cubes, I could use my feet, I could use pennies, and I might even use paper clip. But before we even dive into that, I want to review my measurement anchor chart with you guys. So, a lot of times when we measure, we want to compare objects. So if you notice right here, and I tell you I'm not a good artist, so don't laugh at my pictures. I have two trees here. That's number one and number two. Now looking at both of them, what could you tell me? Hmm, maybe one of them is shorter, maybe one of them is taller. So let's look at it. So we look at tree number two. Tree number two is taller than tree number, than tree number one. So we can compare the height. And therefore, tree number one is shorter than tree number two. So when I'm looking at that, now I have some other items here. I have a glue stick right here. I made it on my chart and I, in my basket here. And I have a pencil. And this is what a glue stick looks like. If we're in the classroom, a lot of times when we do measurement, we use the items in our classroom. Well, you're not at home, we, you're not at school, I mean, you're at home. So therefore, we can use, we can measure things at home. So looking back at the glue stick and the pencil, if we wanted to compare those, we can say that the glue stick is definitely shorter than the pencil, if you're looking at it. You, do you agree? I agree. Also, also the pencil is longer than the glue stick, definitely. When I put it next to each other, that pencil is longer. Boys and girls, we can, when we talked about non-standard units, like paper clips or cubes, so I wanna show you how you would use those. So I made some yarn here, and I'm gonna call them lines. So this is line one, line two, and line three. Now, if I was going to measure, it's important that when I'm measuring, I'm going from end to end, and I don't have any gaps. So when I look at this, how many paper clip long is this line? Let's go ahead and count. Are you counting with me? Ready? One, two, three, boys and girls. There are, that's three paper clips long if I was using paper clips to measure. Boys and girls, it's also important that when you're measuring, you use the same exact unit. Now, the paper clips I use for that is a small paper clip. 
If I wanted to measure it, I could also use a bigger paper clip, but I have to make sure that I use the exact same unit for all my measurement. I can't mix in between these two. It has to be the same unit. I can't use some big ones and some small ones. I have to use the same ones. So let's look at line number four. How many paper clip long is line number four? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Good job, boys and girls. How about line three? How many paper clips long? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. So that's some stand, non standard measurement. Now, we measure to find the length, the length of an object. So I'm looking at the car. If I wanted to measure, I'm going to measure it from the beginning right there to figure out how long the length of it. And this is a car, this is a bus here. The car is shorter than the bus, and the bus is longer than the car, obviously. Now, there are some things that you need to know when you're measuring. These are the important things. So it says, teach me to measure. So we, I want to teach you this, and then when we measure today, we're going to see if I'm following those rules. So the first thing you need to do is that your objects need to be straight. You can't have it zigzag and all over. It has to be straight. Start at an end or at the edge of the object. You should have no gaps, absolutely no gaps. So if I mean no gaps, if you look right here with my pennies, say for example, I'm measuring my glue stick here and I'm measuring it with pennies, I can't have it like that. Do you see those spaces in between? Those are gaps. I have to do it from end to end, and I have to make sure that they're connected. There absolutely isn't any gaps, because if you're having gaps, then that means that you're not measuring correctly. So I would take that one away. That would be about four pennies long. So important, absolutely no gaps. You can't have any space in between. So remember that, no gaps. Next thing. Be precise. That means you have to do it precise. You cannot go over. No overlaps. So you can have overlaps in it and you can measure anything. So with that, let's do some measurement right now. All right. So I have a basket of items. Now, these are items you can find in your house. Toothpaste. We all have toothpaste, right? So here's my toothpaste and let's measure it to see how, let's, let's lose some paper clips. All right, I'm gonna use a paper clip so I'll make sure they're all the same length. So I'm gonna use the same size. So look here with me. How many paper clips long is my object? So I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna bend over a little bit because I wanna make sure that I'm not going. So one, and if I leave a space in between, then there's a gap. We don't want any gaps. So I'm gonna go close and I don't wanna overlap. Two, how many do you think it's gonna be? Hmm. I'm looking at it, I think it might be about five, but let's keep going. Ooh, one, oh, right there, one, two, three. Boys and girls, it is about four. If I do another one, it's gonna be a pass it, so it's about four and a half paper clips long, four and a half. All right. So there is my toothpaste. Now let's see what else we could measure. Let's measure the eraser. That's one we always did in school. So you know what? I'm gonna measure my eraser with pennies. How many pennies long do you think it's gonna be? Uh, my videographer right here. Kenvin, how many do you think it's gonna be? How many do you think it's gonna be? Four. He says four. What do you think, boys and girls? I think about three. Let's see. Remember, no gaps, no overlaps. One. I think I'm going to be right. Two. Oh, yes. It's about three from end to end. No gaps, no overlaps. So that's three pennies long. All right. How many cubes long do you think it is? Mm, let's see. One, my end to end. I think it's going to be about two. About two. There's a little space left. If I put another one, actually, it's not even, it actually is 
three. Absolutely, so there's three cubes long, remember. No overlaps, no gaps. If I did that, it would have gaps, and I can't measure like that. It has to be precise. It has to go from end to end. Let's see what else I have in my basket. So we measured with that. Oh, how about the eraser? How many cubes long do you think this is, Kenvin? Five. Kenvin says five. How many do you think out there in TV land? Mm, you know, I think Kenvin might be right. I'm going to say five too. I'm going to go say five too. So let's go. Let's do that. So edge to edge. No gaps. No overlaps. All right. One. Two. Oop, make sure there's no gaps. Two. Three. Oop, do you want to change your vote? Three. Four. Let's see. Five. Okay. Oop. Uh, we're both wrong, Kenvin. It's actually six. Six cubes long is our eraser. All right, let's do one more. Let's do a, one of our matte flashcards. All right, let's use paper. Oh, you know what? Let's use another non-standard bit. Let's use our beers. Let me show you one beer so you can kind of guess. All right. You know what? There are different size beers in here, so we got to make sure we get the same ones because we don't want to do big ones and small ones. They have to be the same exact size. All right. So how many beers do you think? I think four. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, man, I was close. Four. Ah, uh, it was five beers. You probably got it right. Boys and girls, you can walk around your house and you could find lots and lots and lots of items to go ahead and measure with non-standard units. You don't have to have a ruler at home to measure. You can find pennies. You can use quarters. You can use nickels. You can use dimes. Just go ahead and find some items in your house and to, to measure. Just remember the rules. You, can, you have to put them in a straight line. You have to start from end to end. And you need to have no gaps, no gaps, so there's no spaces in between and no overlaps. Remember that. You have to be precise and you can go around your house and you can measure anything. Boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today for our measurement lesson. To, the next lesson is going to be measuring precisely using our standard measurement of a ruler. So go ahead and practice your non-standard measurement. If you could grab a ruler or if you have one somewhere, you can take that out so you can practice with me next time. Also remember, practice those math facts because you know I am going to quiz you at the beginning of the next episode. Please have a wonderful day. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.